on the hand clap of three. <laughs>
idea of what made it special to me. Out of all the Shake, 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 Because the, the, the way the scripture says, 
Um, we have a hard time humbling ourselves, though. When I humble myself, I, I see that things move, that God moves things for me. And when it says that he will heal our man, as you know, all of his men are sick. And I really like that, that verse because if we repent, and I'm like, well, maybe I'm not doing something right. Maybe I need to repent and then they'll, they'll be healed. That's, that's one of the reasons why it's going to be All right, then. Yes, very good. Oh, yeah. Come on, give her another hand. Hey. Oh, very good. Come on, let's give her a hand and she comes up. This is our Gibeon, our high help, Yahweh's authority, which is his anointing, shall dwell here at all times. First Kings 9, 1 through 3. So be it. And then, um, 12, 18, 12. This house represents our secret place that abides under the shadow of Elion Yahweh, and, we'll, and we shall dwell there in Psalms 91 and 1. So be it. And the reason that these are my favorites are, is because um, these are those that hit closer to home for me because um, I do, like number two says, this is our give me on every time, no matter what stress I'm having or, you know, if I'm like, um, I have anxiety or something, as soon as I walk into here, it's just like a sigh of relief. Like, yeah, I might not be all the way gone, but that, that just overwhelming thing that comes over me, it's very overpowering and it's just, it happens every single time. And um, then the last one is house represents our secret place. Because of that, I feel like it's so special. You know, it's ours. It's something that, um, it's just our special place. You know, not just any and everyone can just come in here, you know, and mess with that anointing and stuff like that. It's just something you just can't get anywhere. You know what I mean? It's just our secret place. So that's why those are my favorite. Come on, give her a hand for that. That was really, really good. Yep. You, you see the shaking from the side. Okay. I'm like, what happened to the thing? Oh, man, y'all did very good. Come on, give him another hand for that. Go right into our meditation music. 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 And the reason why we have meditation music. 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 music, music. Is so that you and I can see and know that there is more than one way to do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Meditate, meditate, 
Oh man, the reason why we have these lyrics in front of us. Yes. For the song from Rabbi Hill Mike. It is so that we don't have new hits like Dennis the Borders. <laughs> yes. I like that one. And the other one is The flies. Didn't that man? Oh, so she knew. And of course, the very own. Yeah. You don't know what to say Woo! when you try to say it. Because you don't know what to say if you can. Thank you very much. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that's why we have the lyrics, and we read them, and we understand them, yep. because they touch our heart, and they touch our mind, and we just, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word I'm looking for, Abby. Thomas. <laughs> And then he 
ran the judge from out of the cell and told him that his hands, he had his hands on him. And then he ran it to Marvin Sepp and told him the comfort zone. Y'all got it? No. <laughs> wow. Did y'all check your email? No, we got the songs. I'm just kidding. Huh? Everybody have it? I got it. I got it. Yeah, me too. I got it. But we're going to give everybody a moment. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, people at home, not for all. Give me a um, uh, card and I'll put it on you. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. yeah, you did? You got it? I got it. Well, I'm going to see if it's downloaded. I'm just saying, give me a card I'll put it on you. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, this is my bad. I should have put it out earlier when I talked to you. I didn't know we were going to have technical difficulties. So now, let me come back and grab my phone. Did everybody on the uh, crew? What do you call them? Telephone crew? Team Sky, everybody on Team Sky, do y'all have it? No. Okay, I'll be resetting it. She says she has them now. Feel sick at all. Um, 
I was sitting there and then the doctor called me over and I was coming to her. At least I thought I walked to her. I don't know how I got to her. But, and she said, if, if we have to, and you, need, you can't breathe, we're going to have to teach you some fancy word, which means stick a pipe down, I mean stick a tube down your throat. And so she, so then, you know, I'm like, okay, you got to do what you got to do. And then she said, and then we might have to use a fancy word for a do to, to put a pipe right here. A trachea. Yeah, tracheology. And that means, uh, she said, you, you might die. And for the first time, I'm telling you, for the first time in a long, long time, I was really scared. Mind you, I wasn't feeling sick or anything, but when she said that, fear grabbed me. And it seemed like I was sinking down, like I was just going down. And it came out of nowhere. I didn't, even, I didn't even think about it. I didn't ask nobody. It just came out of my inner man. It says that, it said, for well, God's not giving me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I didn't say it loud, but it came out without me even thinking about it. It's like I was wrestling in my mind. Anybody hear about that? <laughs> and I thought about that when I got home. You know, what if I wouldn't have? But sometimes I'm thinking about that. Because it lets me see how the God has blessed me. And I'm saying, what if I wouldn't have said that? Would fear have consumed me? Would it have sucked me in? Would the outcome have been different? Mind you, I wasn't feeling sick. I can't recall but one time where I felt a little bit of me in that process they had me in. And I was fine. I thought. And it came out of my inner man. And, 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 and to me, that's, and I know it to be true, that's called a training. See, remember I told y'all about football? You can train so much, and you tra and you do it purposely. So in the middle of the game, you don't have to think about it. You don't have to think about which move I'm gonna use. It is automatically happen. Or well, you think with a swim, you don't have to think. Well, I'm gonna throw this arm out, I'm gonna pull it down, and I'm gonna bring my shoulder over. No, you you look and you say, okay, this is like a swim. I can get him with a swim. I can get him with the inside rib. You don't think, well, how do I do it inside rib? Hmm. It automatically happens. Y'all listen to me? Yes. In this situation, I, I didn't know when I would ever need it. All I know is every morning I said it. I just, and I didn't go through the motion. I really believe God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mind. And when I needed that word, guess what happened? It came full force. And guess what the word do? Destroy every hill. The word don't ask you. It didn't sit down and have a discussion with me. It didn't say, uh, you feel like being free right now? It came and it made me free. And it, it, it became almost laughable for that two, two point some seconds that all this happened. Not going through the motion is critical. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You never know when the opportunity is going to arise and you're going to need to fight. You never know. See, when, you, when we say pray for one another, that means what? Pray for one another. But what if something happened and you can't pray? You will want somebody praying for you. Am I right or wrong? I know, I know good well I wanted somebody praying for me. Mm -hmm. I ain't scared to tell you. I want it. Everybody that thought about pray for me, pray please. You know why? Because I want y'all will to happen in my life. And I know he's in control. But the decisions that we make cause a lot of bad outcomes. Now, if I let fear control me, I don't think I'll be standing. 
because it felt dark and it felt cold. Are you listening to me? I, I'm changed now. I'm different than I have ever been. And I know sometimes people think that a person after they go through something is weaker because of their demeanor. Like I thought Ron Wines, I thought he was a weaker singer because of what he went through, because he couldn't hit the notes like he could. But I do know that natural things ain't how it is in the spirit. Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I understand more now about spiritual things than I ever had. I, little stuff that, that used to bother me really don't bother me. And you may think it is, or you, it may seem like it, but trust me, it, it's not. A lot of things now. I do so that people understand that you got to make a choice. And that any moment, any moment, you could be standing before the Father. And guess what? Mm -hmm. You got to give an account for everything that you've done. They pick at me because they say, hey, you just crazy about termite. I love termite. And it's a game between me and her. But it's my game. But if somebody came to interfere with the love that the Father has for you, and they come in and say, you don't need to love her like that. You don't need to do that for her. What you'll say, get out of my business. I heard one man say this morning, if you hate people, Get out of people's business. Termite, what are you doing? I heard you call my name. Yes. So now I got to do so. Put it down, put it down. Put it down. People said that that's your termite. Yeah. And my termite. That eat up all the wheels you went to. <laughs> It's right here, it's not safe, but I know that I'm bound to make a change. I don't care if I break, at least I'll be feeling something. Just okay, it's not enough, and we fight through nothing or somebody. I want to go through the motions, I want to go one more day, without your love close to me, passion inside of me. I want to spend my whole life asking, what if I ain't giving everything?